welcome to our fourth annual Evening of Excellence program. Thank you to Ms. Hartman and members of the Belport High School Strings Quartet, Mariah Chavez, Paige Collins, Victoria Monte, and Emily Zaralvin for providing the pre-ceremony entertainment. We begin tonight's program with the presentation of colors and Pledge of Allegiance by members of the Cadet Corps Honor Guard, followed by the National Anthem performed by the Belfort High School String Quartet. On your ready. Order arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Port arms. <laughs> again and welcome to our evening of excellent celebration recognizing the top academic students in the class of 2021. These graduating seniors, 72 in total, have completed their seventh semester at Belport High School with the weighted cumulative grade point average of 93 or higher, a remarkable achievement. In addition to our student honorees and their guests, I would like to recognize a number of building and district individuals many of which are joining us this evening. South Country Board of Education, President Ms. Ann Hayes, Vice President Mr. Cameron Trent, Trustees Gina Ancona, Melissa Arruda, Cheryl A. Felice, Clyde Parker, mm -hmm. and Chris Pacini. Central Office Administration, Dr. Joseph Gianni, Superintendent, Nelson Briggs, Assistant Superintendent for Personnel, Christina Costa, Assistant Superintendent for Finance, and Elizabeth Doyle, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Our District Directors, Jack Burke, Director of STEM, Carrie Carson, Director of Special Education, Robert McIntyre, Athletic Director, Jackie O'Hagan, Director of Humanities, Jessica Prush, Assistant Director of Special Education, Jenna Restivo, Director of Guidance and Counseling Programs, and finally, Monica Tetuan, Director of e &L, Bilingual Programs and World Languages. Uh, I'm pleased to be joined by our high school administration, our assistant principals, Ms. Erica De La Rosa, Dan Falvel, Heather Jockaman, and Ray Latore. And finally, our building administration from each of our schools in the district, Brookhaven, Dr. Rebecca Raymond, Principal, and Rosa Calamaris, Assistant Principal, Kramer Street, Mr. Sean Clark, Principal, Vern Kritz, Mandy Maziotti, Principal, Frank Long, Stephanie Rudzinski, Principal, Ali Allberg, Assistant Principal, and Belport Middle School, Dr. Jamal Colson, Principal, Manushka Daniel, John Frankie, and Lisa Zaccaro, Assistant Principals. A very special thank you and recognition to two of our high school faculty members, Amy Iolucci and Amy Krawcheck for coordinating and creating both the video presentation and live streaming for tonight's program. And last but certainly not least are our distinguished faculty from each of the six K-12 buildings in the district. These faculty members, one per building, 
were chosen by students as those educators who had a significant impact on their educational journey through South Country. These very special people include Henry Finnegan, representing Brookhaven Elementary School, Tris Bartkowitz, Kramer Street Elementary, William Champlin, Bern Critz Elementary School, Joseph Tortora, uh, Frank P. Long, Intermediate School, Lech Natsabam, Belport Middle School, and our own Alan Kufferman, Belport High School. As it relates to these teachers, I've reflected for years on the following question. What are the common factors that make some individuals so successful at what they do? Think about the teachers you have selected to honor this evening and see if they don't possess these three qualities. Number one, they know their content. They are skilled individuals with clear expertise in their particular area of teaching and leadership. Number two, they are passionate about what they do. It's obvious by simply watching them work every day. And number three, and perhaps the most important, they have a genuine interest in you, their students, at reaching your full potential, and they are relentless in that pursuit. In other words, failure is not an option. I'm sure there are others, but these three stand out for me. I have yet to encounter a successful individual, teacher, or leader who does not possess these three attributes. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff at Belport High School, thank you for your energy, work ethic, talents, and enthusiasm you bring to school every day. The class of 2021 exemplifies those qualities particularly given the conditions of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has had a direct impact on the final two years of your time in Belport High School. The leadership and grace you have shown in navigating this unprecedented set of circumstances is beyond admirable. Please know it has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated by those around you. You have been an excellent role model for our underclassmen who will use your example to navigate their own experiences in Belport High School. Finally, as I remind graduates every year, you don't get to this point on your own. Many individuals have helped you along the way. Those joining you virtually tonight are likely at the forefront of that unconditional guidance and support. Be sure to take some time to acknowledge each of them with a special thank you or a gesture of appreciation as you approach the end of your journey in South Country. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Joseph Gianni. Good evening. I would like to join Mr. Hogan in welcoming our virtual audience. I know members of the Board of Education, administration, our faculty, and of course our families are joining us for this very special event, our evening of excellence. But most importantly, I welcome those we honor. Our 72 distinguished seniors and teachers, they have selected from each of our schools as being most inspiring and influential in their educational journey. Excellence means greatness, the very best. Achieving excellence is never easy to do. Excellence is a quality that people really appreciate because it's hard to find. Excellence is the quality of excelling, of being truly the best at something. This evening, excellence is you. Students, by maintaining your high level of academic achievement over seven semesters, you have truly achieved academic excellence. As Mr. Hogan indicated, your achievement is simply remarkable. Teachers, for being recognized by these high achievers as having inspired them is truly a tremendous distinction. It just goes to show your successes do not always show up in the classroom. Sometimes your successes show up when you least expect it. Excellence does not occur by accident. It is a gradual result of always striving to do your best with high intention 
sincere effort, and mindful execution. It takes desire, discipline, and determination to achieve excellence. You should all be very proud of yourself. We certainly are. And finally, today more than any other day, remember to be grateful. Gratitude opens the door to life and your story. Express your gratitude today, particularly to your parents, your teachers, and to each other. All have played a part in achieving this very special recognition. So on behalf of the district, I'm simply honored to be part of this recognition with you this evening. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We have a very special program planned for you this evening, which continues with more excellence and our top 10. Thank you, Dr. Gianni. It is now my pleasure to recognize the top 10 academic students in the class of 2021, as well as our first formal introduction of our valedictorian, salutatorian, and class essayist. Ranked number 10 in the class of 2021, Anna Matesta. Anna is a kind-hearted, high-achieving, and responsible young woman. She has been inducted into the art math, science, and national honor societies. She has provided leadership for her class as the class treasurer for all four years at Belfort High School. Anna was awarded the Long Island Scholar Artist Award in Excellence in Media Arts and was featured in Newsday. In addition, she was recognized as a scholar athlete on our varsity bowling and varsity golf teams. Anna has been accepted into 15 different registered nursing programs and has decided to attend Endicott College in Beverly, Massachusetts in the fall. At number nine is Kaylee Ziegler. Kaylee is extremely bright, conscientious, and a natural leader. Her excellence in academics has resulted in membership into the Math Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and National Honor Society. Additionally, Kaylee is a member of our Spanish club, Bellport Clipperettes, peer tutor, and a volunteer at both the Long Island School for the Gifted and Long Island Community Hospital. She is also a competitive dancer through Stage Door School of Dance, where she has served as dance captain and teacher to young dancers. Kelly plans to study health sciences with a minor in Spanish at Sacred Heart University in the fall. Our number eight student, Madison Bauman. Madison is the perfect combination of talent, intelligence, and hard work. Her academic performance has earned her memberships in the Math, Science, and National Honor Societies. In addition, Madison is an exceptional athlete and dancer as a member of the varsity volleyball team and Clipperettes dance team. Most notably, Madison gives back to the community by volunteering each Sunday at her church, providing homework help at the library, and teaching young dancers at the studio where she dances. Madison plans to become a physical therapist and will be attending Geneseo University in the fall, where she will continue to play volleyball and minor in dance. Our seventh ranked student, Lindsay Belmonte. Lindsay is self-motivated, go-oriented with a competitive spirit. Lindsay never settles for anything less than her personal best she has been inducted into the math, science, and national honor societies. As a multi-sport athlete, Lindsay has played so uh, lacrosse, tennis, and track at the varsity level, and most passionate about lacrosse, where she was the recipient of the Scholar Athlete Award, MVP, and top scorer. Lindsay is a member of Athletes Helping Others, the Spanish Club, and serves as secretary for the class of 2021. Lindsay will be attending the University of New Haven, where she will be studying biochemistry and playing lacrosse. Madison Peters is our sixth ranked student in the class of 2021. Enthusiastic, ambitious, outgoing, and determined are a few adjectives that describe Madison. 
She has earned membership in the Math, Science, and National Honor Societies. Madison was the class president in ninth grade and currently serves as vice president of the student council. Madison has been a standout athlete on both the soccer and track teams throughout high school. She was a division and state qualifier in winter and spring track, and she plans to continue to run at the division one level in college. Madison will attend Wagner College next year, where she will complete the five-year program to become a physician's assistant. Our fifth ranked student, Kanya Shaw. Kanya is dedicated to being a lifelong learner and most proud of her work with the Huntington Breast Cancer and Action Coalition, where she works to actively change the way people treat the environment. Kanya interns for multiple companies, including Cleaner Oceans Institute. She is also the founding member of Fiveable, where she has explored strategies to help AP students who are remote learners, as well as a content uh, creator writing study guides for various AP classes. Kanya will undoubtedly make a difference in the world as she continues her education at a four-year college where she will be studying aerospace engineering. Jack Arman, our fourth ranked student in the class of 2021. Academically, athletically, and musically, Jack has left his mark on the South Country School District. His academic and musical talents have earned him membership into the math, science, and Tri-M Music Honor Societies. As a dual sport athlete, Jack is a member of both the golf team and the baseball team at the varsity level. Jack is a phenomenal violinist and has been selected to the Long Island String Festival Association and Suffolk County Music Festival Association Festival since 2014. In addition, Jack is also an active participant in the SCQ Club and Athletes Helping Others. Jack plans to attend Russell Sage University this fall and will major in biology and play baseball. And now to our top three students in the class of 2021. Our class essayist, Ms. Charlotte Kellogg. Charlotte is the essayist of Belport Senior High School's class of 2021. She has been inducted into the math, science, and National Honor Societies and is a career board, a college board AP scholar with distinction. Charlotte was selected as Belport High School's Hobie Ambassador to represent our school at a regional leadership conference. She is also the president of our chess club, math club, and most proud of starting our first debate club. Charlotte was selected for the highly prestigious Questbridge College Prep Scholars Program. This program provided her with resources, including college essay feedback, information about college application process, and an online community that assisted her throughout the college process. In addition, she attended the Questbridge National College Admissions Conference and met admissions officers from 42 of the most selective colleges in the United States. Charlotte was selected as a Questbridge National College Match finalist and has earned a full scholarship to Amherst College in Massachusetts. She plans to study computer science and statistics to eventually use these skills to solve problems involving the environment and medicine. Congratulations to Charlotte. Our salutatorian this year is Miss Victoria Monte. Victoria is the salutatorian of Belport's High School's class of 2021. Victoria is an articulate, analytical, inquisitive, and focused young woman. She is proud of succeeding in eight AP courses and all of the honors courses offered at Belport High School. In addition, Victoria has been recognized for her academic accomplishments by being inducted into the Math, Science, Trium Music, and National Honor Societies. She is the president of the Future Teachers of America Club, working to support students for potential careers in the teaching profession. Victoria is truly passionate about music and is the first chair cellist in our chamber orchestra and has performed annually at the New York State Solo Music Festival since grade seven. Victoria has gained valuable experience attending school sporting events, 
interviewing student athletes and recognizing their accomplishments by writing for our school newspaper. As an avid Chicago Cubs baseball fan, Victoria has officially committed to attending North Central College in Naperville, Illinois in the fall. She plans to major in sports management with the goal of working in sports marketing or athletic event planning. And finally, our valedictorian for the class of 2021, Mr. Anthony Notar Tommaso. Anthony demonstrates passion, focus, and dedication in all of his endeavors. He has been ex exceptionally successful in all of his academic and musical pursuits. Anthony is ranked number one in this class, making him the Belport High School class of 2021 valedictorian. He has achieved over a 103 grade point average and has rightfully earned a place in the Math Honor Society, the Science Honor Society, Tri-M Music Honor Society, and the National Honor Society. Anthony is an exceptional musician who performs as section leader in the Jazz Ensemble, Wind Ensemble, and Pitt Orchestra. Anthony's extraordinary talent has earned him selection in the Suffolk County All-County Band and the New York State Band Directors Association All-State Band. In addition, Anthony dedicates time as a math tutor to younger students and volunteering at Lighthouse Mission. Anthony will undoubtedly be successful as he goes on to college where he will study to pursue a career in a STEM field. Congratulations to all of our top 10 students. At Kramer Street, Ms. Barkowitz was more than a teacher to us. She was someone who was able to show us love and compassion in all aspects of our lives, as well as how to treat everyone equally. For anyone that was lucky enough to have her in either first or third grade at Kramer knows the love she's capable of giving to her students, as well as anyone she meets. For her encouraging speeches to signing all of her notes with hearts and always keeping a smile on her face, her kind-hearted spirit was always shown to us and everyone throughout the school. She encouraged us to be the best versions of ourselves and to always treat others the way we wanted to be treated. Her positive reinforcement and compassion for all molded us into the students we are and more importantly, the people we became to be. She constantly reminded us that every little thing was going to be all right that our well-being always came first to her and that we constantly were shown how much we mattered to her and the impact we had in our class. She made school an enjoyable place to be every day, never putting pressure on anyone and helping us learn and grow at the same time. All the students in Ms. Barkowitz's classes became best friends with one another and that is because of her. We were allowed to go to school and come together and have fun and laugh. She taught us a lot of things, even about Harry Potter, how to do multiplication, how to read, and more importantly, she taught us how to love all of our classmates, put aside our differences, and how to become friends with someone. Ms. Barkowitz was able to impact all of our lives with her kindness, and even if we didn't know it in the moment in a seven or eight-year-old, she taught us some of the most important life lessons, such as not stressing the small stuff, to respect everyone around you and treat them with compassion, and that life is better when you're happy. Whether you had her as a teacher or just saw her in the hallway, everyone witnessed her warm-hearted spirit, and it was shown to everyone. Thank you, Ms. Barkowitz, for everything you've taught us, the impact you've had in all of our lives, and most importantly, congratulations. Hi, friends. I am so incredibly grateful and touched to have received this honor. Wow. It comes from you. That's why it's so special. And I just have such happy memories of you. Some of you I had in first grade, others in third, some first and third. And here you are in high school excelling. I'm just so proud of you. And I hope you're proud too. You should be. I really look forward to hearing about all the wonderful things that you guys will be doing in this world. So as you finish up your high school experience and you venture out into the next phase of your life, I have a few words of wisdom for you that I hope you remember from our time together in class. Let's see if any of this jogs your memory. I want you to find a song that really speaks to you and lifts you up and make that your mantra. And when you feel the need to calm down, just listen to it. It'll help. Remember when we used to listen to don't worry about a thing, every little thing will be okay. Yeah. Also, continue to write yourself inspirational notes. It really helps to motivate you and make you feel good about yourself. 
and everybody can use that, right? Yeah. Always remember the importance of yet. When you're tempted to say, I can't do this, take a minute and add the word yet and say to yourself, I can't do this yet. Because guess what? You will. You just may not do it in that exact moment. And that's okay. Continue being financially responsible, as so many of you were with our Barkowitz Bucks in our classroom. And always remember to use those power vocabulary words every chance you get. Again, I am touched beyond measure that you guys have chosen me as someone who played an important part in your educational journey. Always remember how resilient, strong, and just incredibly loved you are. Thank you again. Thank you. After being invited to Evening of Excellence, each student was given the invitation to nominate a teacher from every single school on their great achievements and just their dedication to their work. Although I didn't go to Vern Kurtz, I decided to vote for Mr. Champlin and I did have him in kindergarten at Kramer Street and my grandpa is friends with him at school and he always talks about him, always loves to um, bring him up in conversation, but that's not why I nominated him. I nominated Mr. Champlin for his devotion and pride in every single one of his students. When I go to visit with student council for anything from Christmas to Halloween to Thanksgiving even, we are invited in with open arms from him and he holds so much pride and loves to show off his students. He has such a devotion to his work that you don't see a lot and he really has a smile on his face with everything he does. I remember one time I walked in with one of my friends who did go to Burn Crits and he still remembered her PR on like push-ups or something and it really shows like how to set an amazing teacher aside from the rest. Thanks. To the class of 2021, let me start out by saying thank you. As a teacher, I cannot imagine an award more prestigious than the one voted on you, the students. Thank you for remembering and for choosing me for this prestigious award. I am beyond humbled and honored to receive it. I have always tried to foster a learning environment based on fitness, health, and personal achievement, but more importantly, an environment where all are welcome, all are special, and all can experience growth on a daily basis. When you come into my gym, you will be greeted with love and kindness. My hope is that you learned half as much from me as I have from you. Students are the best teachers in this school, and I continue to learn every day because I am blessed by such amazing students. Again, I would like to thank you for this special award. I cannot express to you how much it means to receive this recognition from my students. My heart is warm and my bucket is full. Always feel free to visit or send an email to keep in touch. You will be missed. Good luck and I will see you at graduation. Thank you. To know any person for almost all of your life is a pretty amazing feat. When that person consistently brings motivation and optimism to your day, that's an even more incredible thing. Mr. Finnegan is one of those people. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Finnegan began his journey with us in Brookhaven Elementary as both our music teacher and chorus director. Just about five years ago, he moved up to the high school, taking on various roles including teaching piano and chorus, as well as taking part in the school musical productions and chamber choir. Basically, if you're involved in music at BHS at all in any way, you've had the honor of working with Mr. Finnegan. Today though, Mr. Finnegan is recognized for his role in our lives back then in elementary school, and so I'll focus on that. Like I mentioned, Mr. Finnegan essentially introduced the world of music to every student who went to Brookhaven. We started off with the basics, as any class begins with, learning what a wood block or a glockenspiel was, then what do re mi means, and so on, nothing super crazy. By the time we were leaving elementary school though, being Mr. Finnegan's student meant so much more than any of those things. Whether it was watching the Nutcracker before Hollywood, talking about dark, dark houses with dark, dark rooms, or singing about 60 million snowflakes, I think I speak for most, if not all, of my fellow Brookhaven graduates when I say that the moments curated by Mr. Finnegan from pre-K to third grade have become some of our fondest childhood memories. 
We didn't just learn about music. We were taught what music means. Mr. Finnegan showed each and every one of us what it meant to have fun with music, how to make music as a group, and to understand how sounds can come together to make something incredible. I know, it seems like a super intense way to describe elementary music class, but it's 100% true. And it just goes to show how fabulous of a job Mr. Finnegan does as a music teacher, and how every day since we've known him, he makes sure that music is a sanctuary for all of us. Mr. Finnegan, the impact you've had on my life and the lives of every student that walked the halls of BHS is something that words could never fully describe. There are a lot of people out there who know what music is and how to make it but not many people are able to make it so valuable and so enriching to others as you are. For however many years we've all had the pleasure of knowing you, I can say without a doubt in my mind that without you, we would not be the musicians, the students, or the people we are today. On behalf of every talent and artist here at BHS, thank you. I am both honored and humbled to have been chosen by students of the class of 2021 as one of their most influential teachers during their time in the South Country School District. Reading Mr. Hogan's email about this honor was the best kind of surprise. I know that all of you in the audience, whether you know just one or many of the students being honored here tonight, knows that they are exceptional young men and women. And knowing that they think of their time with me at Brookhaven Elementary School in such a special way is truly overwhelming. From the bottom of my heart, I wish to thank the students in the class of 2021 who nominated me for this honor. I have very fond memories of our time together at Brookhaven, from the dark, dark house at Halloween to playing Salami, which I feel you managed to win way more times than I did, to my memories of all of you acting out the story of the sleeping princess. Perhaps my most vivid memories are from our preparations for the third grade chorus spring concert. No matter how high of a bar I set for you in preparing the music, much of it in foreign languages to fit our theme of music from around the globe, the end result was a performance that we were all proud of. Now in high school, I have been fortunate to have had many of you in mixed chorus over the last four years. Some of you for a year or two, others for four years. Together with your classmates, your willingness to try new things and work hard to achieve exceptional results continues to be evident perhaps now more than ever. Over the last year, you have been handed your biggest hurdle yet, a global pandemic. But despite the pandemic turning our choral rehearsals upside down, you continue to achieve a high standard. This extends beyond music making. All of you are role models to the underclassmen, and you have helped them to overcome so many challenges this year because of your genuine kindness. You contribute to a positive environment where all students feel welcome and valid, where they can feel that they are permitted to be themselves. And that is perhaps your biggest impact in the chorus room and on me. I know that this honor you have chosen for me is because of the impact I have had on your education, but you have all had such a positive impact on who I am as a teacher and as a person. I could not be more grateful. In the words of Albus Dumbledore, it is our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. So, class of 2021, as you move on to the next chapter, continue to choose to be who you are, and you will continue to have that positive impact on all who you encounter. Thank you all again for this honor, and all the best to you as you move forward. Dr. Kupperman taught me chemistry in 10th grade, and once or twice a week I would attend his extra help sessions. Chemistry wasn't my strongest subject at the time, but I mostly went to those sessions just to talk to him. I enjoyed telling him all about what I dreamed of doing in my future, and he enjoyed giving me advice and reaffirming my aspirations. However, he also encouraged me to keep an open mind and reminded me that whatever I thought I knew about myself and about my future may be subject to change. I need to flow with that and not fight it. Life throws you curveballs and changes your path pretty often, and Dr. Kupferman helped me realize that's okay. What I admire about him so much is that, instead of reciting some quote by Emerson about changing your mind frequently and developing your character through change, Dr. Kupferman is led by example. 
He followed his passion to become a teacher, leaving his predetermined career path behind. A career that probably would have made him more money and given him less stress. That impressed me so much, and we should all follow his example by choosing to do what we love. Especially now as we collectively enter a new chapter of our lives. In times when I felt overwhelmed, Dr. Kupferman would offer the best advice and remind me that small bumps in the road were normal and necessary, and that they didn't define me. He reminded me that in the years to come, those bumps would be smoothed out and will only have made me a stronger person. But I think that one of the greatest gifts he gave me was to reinforce that painful experiences can be spoken about openly and should be. He was always there if I needed to do that. Ultimately, chemistry turned out to be my favorite subject and I went on to take AP Chem in my junior year, thanks to Dr. Kupferman. I know that all he taught me about chemistry and life will stay with me throughout college and beyond. The class of 2021 chose to honor this wonderful teacher because he does not simply echo parts of a curriculum. He teaches with his own pizzazz. He shows us how fun things simple as a molecule can be, but he's also a mentor and someone who empathizes with students, and how hard it can be to face the challenges of high school. Simply put, he's an icon. Thank you, Dr. Kupferman. Good evening and congratulations to this evening's honorees. You deserve a lot of credit for maintaining your excellence through these unprecedented circumstances. Congratulations as well to your parents and other family members whose support no doubt played a large role in your success. I am unable to adequately express how it feels to me to have been chosen by you for this great honor. It means so much more to me than any other professional recognition I have ever received. I've been hearing a lot about these influencers I just never thought I'd be one. Now, if I may, I'd like to try to influence you just a little bit more. As you embark on the next leg of your academic journey, try to remember that the best things in life are not things. Find something you love and follow it. Be aware that that may change at least once over time. Being able to get up every morning and do something you love can't be overrated. Finally, we need you all to go out there and care about the world and do your part to make it a better place. As long as you remember to do your best, it will always be good enough. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks again. My name is Mariah Chavez, and on behalf of the class of 2021, I'll be speaking on why we chose Ms. Natsuban as our honorary teacher from Belfort Middle School. First, I want to congratulate all the teachers my classmates have chosen to honor tonight because I've had all except one of these teachers, and I'm truly honored, like many others, to have been their student. Ms. Natsuban is an exceptional example of a woman who is a hard worker, strong leader, mentor, and passionate teacher. While in her class, everyone felt that they had someone in the building who they could spill their middle school secrets, worries, and frustrations with. Whether it be academic struggles or personal struggles, she was always there. The bond she creates with her students is unique in that it never fades away. We can talk to her about anything from Sarah's massive croc collection, Taylor and I studying in the bathroom, David's hilarious stories, and our superstar classmate, Gavin. But the list goes on and on. But this is just an example of how everyone is willing to share their lives with her because they know she will listen and care. My friends and I can say that she is like our second mom who we can count on for anything and everything. We all know that Algebra 1 may have not been our favorite subject, being that we may have struggled to grasp a new topic, but we can all agree that Ms. Knotsman helped us find a path in order for us to understand these topics for the regions and express ourselves to creative outlets. In some projects, we made birds, food, and mythical creatures to better understand linear formulas through graphs. Some of my musically inclined classmates made a song on how to factor a trinomial, and someone made a cheer on dots how to factor a binomial. She was an amazing teacher who was willing to take her time out of her day to ensure her students overcame their struggles. The engagement center was everyone's second home or classroom, whatever they want to call it, and we were all self-motivated to improve our practice skills. I, along with many other classmates, would head over to the engagement center after school 
or she would welcome us with a smile where we could ask any questions about what we were currently struggling with while eating snacks or her homemade cupcakes. And let me tell you, those are really, really good. You have to try them. So let me tell you how great the class of 2021 is. Miss Knotts always set us up for success so much that we all head to the engagement center on a beautiful sunny day after our eighth grade picnic. If us as middle schoolers sacrificing a day to go out to the pool with our friends to do two hours of algebra doesn't show how academically focused 2021 is, I don't really know what does. See, she not only teaches students, she inspires them. I came into her class struggling with math, but she helped me find that inner passion to motivate myself and overcome my academic challenges. Whenever a student struggled, she always brought them up and told them they were not only capable of passing the regions, but she always told us to push ourselves to do anything in life, even if it seemed impossible. Her bond with students and impactful work is why we chose her for tonight. And even though eighth grade honors algebra is over, the memories will never fade and we will love you morning, noon, and night. We love you, Ms. Natsavon. Hi, class of 2021. I can't believe four years have gone by since you left the middle school. I still remember our last day together, setting up my phone and rearranging the classroom so we can take our class pictures. I think I cried every period as we hugged and said our goodbyes with a promise to see each other again. Your class will always have a special place in my heart. You guys are truly are remarkable and many of my colleagues will agree. Although you were competitive with one another, you did so in a way that was inspiring and encouraging to each other. Always bringing out the best in your classmates. You also motivated me to extend myself in my teaching. I've made so many lasting connections and memories with your class in that short school year. I will share some of my favorites. You'll get it however others listening may not, that this is for you. Remember the BOCES grant with the Chromebooks and Google Classroom? We were the first. The clowns. Oh, the clowns. Dots, dots, dots. Liver juice. Crocs. Sausage fingers. Shoulder partners. And who could forget the foldables? Thank you so much for the many wonderful memories. I am honored and touched by your consideration as being one of many teachers that have influenced you during your time at Belport. I am encouraged that you are the future and I look forward to your success. I'll leave you with this. I love you, morning, noon, and night. I love you. Congratulations, class of 2021, and good luck. When having to pick an honorary teacher, one name always comes to mind. And when I ask my classmates about their favorite teacher, the same name comes up. Mr. Torah, I don't think you know how much of an impact you've had on my classmates and I. It would take me all night to list all the memories made in that fifth grade class. You made school and learning a fun experience. You made kids want to go to school. There was always an activity, game, dance, or song incorporated into what we were learning. I will never forget us reenacting Romeo and Juliet or a little skit of Johto, Bro, and Co. You made reading one of the best parts of the day. Whether you would read to us or let us go off on our own, we would want to read. I know for me, I would go and sit in the little section in between the shelves reading away. This is what really got me into reading and I know this is what sparked others' interest too. Another huge part of why you're such an amazing teacher is because you would make everyone feel included and special. You gave everyone a nickname and got every single student involved, which made, made us feel like a whole. We could always be ourselves and come to you with anything without feeling judged. I was always a very shy and introverted person, but once I was in that class, I was able to break out of my shell. You would always try to include our families in activities, holidays, and field trips, which made your class so much more memorable. We appreciate how you cared about each and every one of us. The little details you put into everything didn't go unnoticed. The movie you made of all of our class memories and the bamboo plant you gave us is above and beyond what anyone could expect. You really are a big part of why I have achieved my goals, one of them being in the class of 2021's top 10. Not to mention four of your students here tonight are part of the top 10 speaks volumes. 
Thank you, Mr. Tor, for being such a passionate and wonderful teacher. Your dedication and effort painted a bright path for your students in and beyond the classroom, which is only a fraction of the impact you've made on us. This is why me and my fellow classmates believe you deserve this honor. Thank you for being you. Congratulations to you all. Thanks for nominating me for this award tonight. I can't believe it's been seven years since you were at Frank P. Long. And after looking back at some pictures, it's also been seven years since I've had hair. I know the last two years must have been the worst, changing school and being online at home, being away from your friends, and now wearing masks in school behind plexiglass has to be challenging too. But congratulations on doing so well still. Good luck in the future, good luck after high school, and please keep in touch. I look forward to hearing all about your future successes. And now, please join me in presentation of our 72 Evening of Excellence student honorees. Gavin Antos. Jack Almond. Isabella Benellas. Maurice Balsilios. Madison Bauman. Isabella Beck, Mercedes Beck, Lindsay Belmonte, Matthew Boki Costa, Paige Bowen, Jack Burkhardt, Kerry Campbell, Eric Sabalos, Mariah Chavez, Paige Collins, Jake Esposito, Savannah Darrow, Robert DeSantis, Vivian Fritz, Jessica Fuentes, Samantha Fuentes, Garrett Cabri, William Gatehouse, Aiden Gaynor, Angie Gomez, Gabriel Hamill, David Hartman III, Emma Hepner, Jaheed Hossein, Nora Hunt, Erica Johnson, Charlotte Kellogg, Taylor Kelly, Cameron Kersmith, Tyler Kola, Jordan Maldonado Velasco, John Megan, Chelsea Menendez Ariaza, Anna Mazatesta, Amanda Miano, Carly Monsell, Victoria Monte, Gabriela Morano, Brendan Muldoon. Brian Murphy, Teresa Nadu, Anthony Nortatomaso, Michael Paredes, Madison Peters, Sean Pinto Ascalante, Sarah Plaza, Jonah Poriouet Santana, Jonelle Poriouet Santana. Emily Wright, Caroline Reyes de Jesus, Jordan Rodecker, Nicholas Saladino, Caitlin Saliba, Kieran Sawyer, Peter Shortmeyer, Tanya Shah, Maria Slavnova. Laura Slavinsky, Dream Smith, Cassidy Selena, Allison Stompoli, Brian Taylor, Jonathan Timms, Ryan Bogley, Ryan Wilson, 
Emily Zorabi, Kelly Ziegler, Once again, congratulations to our class of 2021 students and honorary teachers for this very special recognition. And now we conclude tonight's program with a video montage of the class of 2021. Thank you all and please enjoy the remainder of your evening.